Hi you guys, it's me Arden Lee. I am back with another video today and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about how the universe will start showing up for you once you set an intention and start committing yourself to what changes you want to start seeing in the world. There's been some, and, and specifically in yourself, of course, because that's where we always start, right? That's change to the self and manifests externally in the world around you. Um, this is how we create our, our realities, right? This is how we begin to become masters of our own reality creation. So, uh, so I want to talk about that because some, wow, some really cool things are starting to come through for some of my students in, uh, in the repatterning project. So, uh, so I wanted to share this with you. This dovetails a little bit off of a video that I made at the start of the year uh, called uh, How to Take a Leap of Faith. Um, I believe it was either, yeah, I think it was either, <laughs> either early January or late December um, uh, about taking this leap of faith and committing yourself to a path and knowing um, that the universe is going to start showing up for you. Um, that sounds super woo, right? Oh, here I am. I'm talking about the universe. What does that mean, right? So I have some really, really great examples. So that's what I want to do is I want to start giving you guys evidence of what happens when you commit yourself and what it looks like when the universe starts showing up for you and what that means and how it can happen for you. So before I get into that, of course, uh, as always, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel and or like my page, depending on where you are watching this video. If you are not yet familiar with me and my work, my name is Arden Lee and I am the creator of The Repatterning Project. That is an eight week course where we hack our beliefs. We examine everything that we believe in our lives up to this point thus far, how those beliefs have formed the social conditioning, the early traumas, the patterns that have set in that we've gotten used to just thinking that the world is this way when really we have the ability to start changing our results based on the way that we, uh, the ways we place our focus, the ways we speak to ourselves about ourselves, uh, and the everyday choices that we make in our lives. So, um, so yeah, so there's some super, super cool things that are happening. I'd love for you to uh, check out the description box to this video where I have left a link to a free PDF guide about the repatterning project in case you want to learn more about it. And I also have a link to the Facebook group, the repatterning parlor, which is a free Facebook group that I moderate full of like-minded individuals who are also looking to forge their paths forward towards success, abundance, happiness, and all the goals that they want to achieve for themselves. So go ahead and check those out. We would love to see you there. Come say hi. And all right, I want to talk a little bit about the cool things that are happening. I want to celebrate um, I want to celebrate uh, this uh, all the cool stuff that is uh, that is going on for people. So if you you may have noticed that um, that I made some videos a couple weeks ago about how to like stop scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, how to bring that conscious awareness, that mindfulness to your choices so that if you are catching yourself doing things that eat up your time, that don't actually make you feel good, right? We're on Facebook and we may get the, that like that addiction to that dopamine hit of getting more and more notifications, but sometimes we're on there and we don't want to navigate away because we don't want to miss our next notifications that are coming in, right? Because we have that dopamine hit that says, oh my God, people are paying attention to me. Look, likes and, and, and it, it's designed to be that way, you guys. You know, it's designed, even our text messages are designed so that when we have that little that little flag there, that little red number, that little circle that pops up says, oh, you have three unread texts, oh, what's that, right? It's something that we wanna look at, we wanna make that go away <laughs> because it's like, oh, it's a notification, there's something happening, right? So this, and, and, and FYI, um, you know, I've been reading this amazing book called Team Human by Douglas Rushkoff and uh, it's speaking to so many of the ways that our technology is actually set up to keep us there because we have become the products. We have become, the more time we spend on Facebook, the more data uh, they have to sell big corporations about us. We've become the products of our time online uh, rather than the consumers in so many instances. So, 
So yeah, getting off of Facebook and Instagram is often to, to swim upstream, right? So I made this video about bringing conscious awareness to realizing that we're scrolling through and it's like, this is not making me feel good anymore. This is not helpful. I would actually feel better if I put the phone down and I got to work on the things that I need to be doing, um, but I'm having trouble breaking out of this pattern because it's a habit. It's something that gets set and Specifically, it is something that gets set and gets reinforced precisely because the technology is designed to do so, right? So we want to bring our awareness to that and, you know, understand that it's not entirely our fault because it's doing what it's designed to do. We are in a way, in, in a way we are our own programs that, that these things are, are working themselves out on, right? <laughs> We're being affected in exactly the way that, that this technology is being designed to affect us. But having brought that knowledge, we can really look at it and start to uh, start to examine that and say, you know, how are we going to change this and be better? Anyway, I know that was a bit of a rant. That was a long way of saying that I posted this video uh, because someone specifically from my group was talking about um, talking about how to stop scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and how to start being more mindful of her time. So I made that video. Well, it must be maybe two weeks later if that, and she hops on our group call tonight and she said, you guys, you'll never believe it. Um, I have a new job now. Um, I, you know, I, I, uh, uh, she's someone who does freelance work. So, uh, so kind of going around to new job environments is quite par for the, for the course for her, for, you know, every several months or so. And she's in a new job environment. She says the person she is working for and sort of assisting and, and mentoring under in many ways, has set an environment for uh, for this particular job where he said, um, I don't want people on their phones. If it's a break, sure, go ahead, take care of what you need to do. But uh, it's, it's like a rehearsal environment. So he said, even if you're not the one who is being focused on at the moment, I would like you to still maintain an atmosphere of focus because I find it distracting. So please don't be on your phones unless it's a break. And how amazing that just two weeks ago, my student had said, I'm looking for, I'm looking to set the intention of not being on my phone as much, of not being as addicted to, you know, addicted, but addicted to scrolling through my social media. And how amazing that just two weeks later, she enters an environment where the person who is her boss and her mentor, who she's directly assisting, is saying, I insist on an environment where we don't do that. And now, because we become the average of the people that we spend time with, right? She is in an environment. She is in a social group. Even if it's work, it's still a social group where they don't do this behavior. How incredible that the universe showed up to support her in this intention by giving her a container that would support her with that by having everyone else not do it too. Could you imagine how difficult it would be to stop scrolling through your phone when everyone around you is on their phone too, right? And it's just one of those things that we may never be able to prove causation between setting an intention and having something so direct like that show up for us seemingly out of nowhere but what I will say is that so many of the great minds, um, Joseph Campbell, Johann von Goethe, um, the people who, you know, Abraham Hicks, <laughs> the people who teach this work have said over and over and over again. I remember giving that Johann von Goethe quote at the end of that video on how to take a leap of faith and how what that quote stated is that when one definitely commits oneself to a course of action, now I'm paraphrasing, but whatever, then support from the universe starts to show up. And we don't know how that happens. We don't know exactly why it happens, but it happens. So I wanted to share that with everyone tonight because how great that we can set an intention and immediately the next environment we go to is so conducive to helping us abide by that intention, surrounded by people who are also abiding by that intention. How terrific and amazing is that? And 
the more that I do this work, the more that I've seen this show up for me so many times over and over. I set an intention recently to, um, to connect more uh, with people, you know, with people who are really connecting in real life and not just on the internet. I can, you know, since I work from home so often, I can really get isolated. I can stay here and I can make videos all day and feel like I'm connecting with you guys, but it's not the same. I'm staring at my phone and I'm staring at my image in the phone and it's great. I'm talking about the things that are passionate to me. I put it out there. I receive feedback. It's terrific. But after a while, like I crave that real connection. And that started coming through for me this week too. I had some really big breakthroughs, just whew, big movement. It's really terrific and incredible. So I really uh, encourage you and advise you to um, set those intentions, commit to them, believe that there will be support that shows up for you. Start to look for that support to come within the coming weeks and months. And it will absolutely, absolutely happen. You don't even need to know what it's going to look like. You just need to set the intention and commit to it. And man, it's incredible. Miracles just start happening out of nowhere. And it's really great. So I wanted to share that with you today. Um, thank you guys for listening. I'll see you in the next video.